Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So recently Samsung announced a chipset known as Exynos 990 which will probably be used in the upcoming Galaxy S11 series. The naming scheme is really confusing as the previously launched Exynos 980 was an upper mid-range processor and not a flagship. But this Exynos 990 is believed to be the successor to the Exynos 9825 which is the previous flagship chipset used in the Galaxy Note 10 and Note 10 Plus flagship. The new processor is built on Samsung's 7nm process and includes a Mali G77 GPU that increases graphical performance or power efficiency compared to Samsung's previous chip by up to 20% as well as an octa-core CPU that should be 20% faster. But there are some strange things as well, like Exynos 990 comes with a faster processor but with a separate 5G modem, meaning it will be better suited to 4G devices. But the previously launched Exynos 980, a mid-ranger, has integrated 5G which makes me think Exynos 990 is targeted slightly towards different market. The Exynos 990 and the 5G Exynos modem 5123 are both manufactured on Samsung's new 7nm LPP EUV process. The Exynos 990 has a triple cluster CPU core setup. Samsung did not reveal the clock speeds of its CPU clusters but those will likely depend on the specific implementation. We know there are two powerful custom cores, two high-performance Cortex-A76 units and a power-efficient core cluster of Cortex-A55 cores. The Exynos 990 keeps its dual-core NPU but the DSP is improved. Samsung says it can perform over 10 trillion operations per second. Samsung says on its website, the NPU enables localized AI in a smartphone or other mobile platforms, allowing data to be processed on device rather than going through a network and a server for added efficiency and security. This can also help enhance AI features such as facial recognition and scene detection for richer mobile experiences, which clearly means AI processing will be faster and better with localized AI. The display driver on the Exynos 990 can output up to 120 frames per second. Should a future Samsung phone support a screen that can take advantage of its extra processing power, even more impressive, it can do so even on the phones with multiple displays like the company's Galaxy Fold. This chipset supports 6 cameras with a maximum resolution of 108MP like the ISOCELL Bright HMX sensor which Samsung announced back in August. Furthermore, the Exynos 990 can support memory bandwidth LPDDR5 data rates. The 5G Exynos modem 5123 supports both kinds of 5G, sub 6 GHz and mm wave. the latter of which was missing when Samsung announced its previous Exynos 980 chipset with an integrated 5G modem. When connected to a 5G network, Samsung says that Exynos modem 5123 supports a maximum download speed of 5.1 Gbps on sub 6 GHz and 7.35 Gbps on mm wave. The Exynos 990 and the 5G Exynos modem 5123 are expected to be mass produced by the end of this year, according to Samsung. The stage is set for Samsung Galaxy S11's international variant to use this chipset. And that's about it. If I missed something then do comment. Anyways, thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon. Peace out.